Hi, everybody. It's meteorologist Joe Chaffee. <clears throat> Take a look at what's going on today. And uh, a few of you have asked uh, with regards to what impact, if any, this uh, subtropical storm Alex is going to have. And, and this is the European model, which I have up. And uh, you can see uh, that's Alex right here. Here's our weather set up here in the eastern states where we just uh, had that cold shot of air that's going to be pulling out today and tomorrow. And there's the upper low. This this was the representation of um, Alex uh, over the Azores. It kind of gets absorbed in this upper this lead upper system that's over Labrador, and that system kicks out to just south of Greenland, and then winds up rotating back or reforming westward. You can see it there. Um, this is uh, the upper system that's coming through for. Monday, and I'm going to go back and, and review that. But as we move it along, you know, I, I, it's hard for me to really get too excited about this over the long term at this point because, um, you know, there's just nothing that really is um, piquing my interest. Uh, we had uh, the models uh, doing their own things with regarding to um, the weekend, the first weather system. And the, oddly enough, it was the NAM model that was the first to pick up on the fact that this one is going to be further and further east and out to sea. And uh, that appears to be the case. So for all the arguments about rain and snow, guess what? It'll be mostly rain, it'll be very little, and there'll be no snow issues because there'll be no precip. So uh, for inland spots, so we'll get rid of that. And uh, then uh, this is the second system that we were watching for Sunday that the GFS uh, wanted to do something with. But the problem is that uh, you've got this upper low. There's not really much phasing. You can barely find a southern feature. Now, the European does have a pretty vigorous upper system here. And it is actually producing a period of uh, snow uh, or snow showers here uh, Sunday night, Monday morning, and puts down a coating to an inch or two accumulation. You know what? That's a cheap thrill uh, scenario in my book. And then that pulls out, and you'll notice that there really isn't too much happening. You've got this other system in the southern stream, but by the time we get to the end of next week and next weekend, the big question is going to be how much, if any, cold air is left, because that is going to be a consideration. Uh, let's... Uh, I'll switch over to the uh, GFS, and we'll roll this one back. And, you know, it pretty much has the same idea. You know, there's that lead system for Saturday, and it's just you can barely find it. And when you look at it at the surface, which we'll do in a minute, uh, you'll see uh, that it doesn't do very much. And here comes that next uh, upper system. Now uh, it's completely lost that southern feature. You can barely find that. Uh, it's not as vigorous or as as dug southward as the European is, so it really also produces. It produces a little bit. It kind of hints at, that there might be something in terms of uh, uh, some snow showers here uh, come uh, Sunday night into Monday, and then that pulls out. And then, like I said, after that, there just seems to me, uh, yeah, there's something at the end of the week. But you know what? I'm not too enthused. At this point, maybe it's good that I'm not too enthused. Uh, you know, it, it's probably better that way. Uh, maybe a surprise will happen. I don't know. I'm just not really overly excited by this pattern. It's just, it's just all messy. Um, there's, there's a lot running around. Uh, there's, there's ridging across the Arctic. But you know, uh, like I said, I just can't get too worked up over this at this point. Um, let's go to. I'm going to go to the surface map close up and we can take a look at its point of view and back it away and here we go so there's our system for friday night saturday you can see now it gets off of north carolina and instead of going up uh, towards just south of long island it pretty much carries east northeast it's not nearly as deep some pre very little precip with it and then it goes out and here comes that next wave now that is now uh, not nearly as deep on the gfs and it's shown to be offshore, but right here you can see there's kind of a um, the isobars are bagged uh, back into western New York, and it just tries to make a little wave there. The European has it a little more robust, so that's why I'm thinking maybe Sunday night into Monday morning, you know, there could be another one of these cheap thrill scenarios. And then after that, it tries to take another low um, offshore on Friday. Who knows if that's real or not? And then we get rid of that. And again, there isn't really that much here. 
Uh, you know, of course, the one big storm that the GFS wants to show is along about the 27th, and uh, naturally, it has to be a deep low that goes to the lakes. But you know, you know who knows? Uh, I, I'm not going to get worked up about all this stuff. I think you have to consider, by the way. Um, I'm going to put this out there, and I know it's going to um, get a few people upset. Um, we have to consider the fact that this is I mean, this may very well just wind up being a subpar winter from the standpoint of snowfall, if only because of the fact that uh, five out of the last six winters were above normal. And when you look back at the history of, of snowfall in the New York area, you have more subpar winters than, than winters um, above normal. That's just the way the stats work. And I think that everybody's been pretty spoiled over the fact that in the last 15 winters, um, I think 10 out of those 15 winters have produced above normal snowfall, and in a few cases, much above normal snowfall, depending on where your exact location is. And when you look at the prior 30 winters, uh, going back to um, the, uh, the 70s, 80s, and 90s, there were 30 winters there. 24 of those winters were subpar, and a lot of them were very subpar. So that's the era that I grew up and cut my forecasting teeth on, and we had very few winters. Uh, where we had snowfall even approaching normal. So, um, you know what? If that's the case, it happens. That's just the way it is. And we kind of just move on if that's if, if that happens. So um, just uh, remember, it's weather, it's fun, and it's snow. But you know what? It's, it's not life and death here. You know, if it doesn't wind up being a snowy winter, uh, we will survive and get on with it. And we'll look ahead to the next one if that's the case. I'm not throwing in the towel. I'm just saying we just need to consider the fact that they cannot all be spectacular winters. So have a good day, and I will uh, talk to you uh, guys a little bit later on.